N4 H and H here. Where's the FTDX 5000? Well, more on that later. This is my older radio, the Yaesu FT920. 20 meters open at uh, 9 o'clock at night. I want you to hear that guy in the background. You hear that? Yeah, very good. Yeah, you're about 20 over 9 that time, David. 73. Without any help. Uh, Kilo Delta 9 is it Delta? Well, <laughs> you crushed the guy, but. Uh, oh, okay, very good. You yeah, couldn't hear him at all until I until I kicked in. This is an old radio. This is uh, 21 years old, I think. Uh, yeah, about 21 years old. And. Uh, You know, I always talk about signal to noise ratio. Well, here's another week when you hear. You can barely tell that guy's there. Okay. Here comes IPO. Attenuation. I'm working on that signal to noise ratio. Well, I haven't even kicked in the D and R yet. This is one of the rigs, early DNR. Is this knob over here? We get some light. So there's the uh, noise reduction. Just a knob. Fairly effective oh, wow. for uh, older technology. I thought you were mobile. Like I said, you're uh, S9 and sometimes up to 20 over, so uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, Tundra must, uh, must be helping a lot. Now, these old radios are still <laughs> not bad. Okay, I've uh, installed NRAD filters in this one. Not using it right now. I'm on the original Yesu. Underneath the radio is a toggle switch. Shift is your friend too, especially in CW. Do want Papa India radio? Now we're listening to him with the NRAD filter, 2.1 kilohertz wide. There's the 2.8 oh, okay, ASU. Uh, and uh, boy, no one's where their their call sign is. Every, all the uh, working W1s in Florida. And There's and, the 2.1 uh, in NRAD. Vermont. It really comes in handy when I'm fighting QR Mary. With this old radio, I use Shift, DSP. The DSP on this one is kind of cool. You can control the highs and lows separately. There's the highs. Lows. And what's really cool is when you're doing CW, you just pull these two rings together and just sweep that right across where the CW signal is that you're listening to. I'll maybe shoot another video where I'm doing some CW with it. So the FTDX 5000, um, well, I had some RF in the shack today, I guess feeding back through a um, off-center fed dipole, common mode current. Um, somehow the SWR has gotten up on that thing and I was running the uh, amplifier and um, the I have a new comm cable that was plugged into the FTDX 5000 to the cat port and apparently the cat port is very susceptible to RF so uh, talk to Yesu they've already given me the info to send it back and they'll take care of it um, hopefully uh, as a warranty replacement let's hope um, because well I mean I don't know for sure if it's RF but I'm just guessing that's what they said it could be and I'm thinking well I did have, uh, you know, a 1.7, close to a 2 to 1 on my OCF uh, dipole. 
So, so again, here we go, uh, using the old uh, standby FT920, that's the rig that I used from 1999 until last, last September 2019 when I acquired the uh, FTDX5000. So everything else in the shack remains the same. Um, the uh, microphone even, still using the Heil PR781. And, uh, well, the 920 doesn't have quite as many bells and whistles when it comes to adjusting audio, but I'm getting decent reports with it with the 781. Uh, using no mic EQ, by the way. But what I am doing is uh, I'm doing the carrier offset. Here we go. So, um, transmit LSB, I'm doing an offset of plus 50. And for when the processor's on, I'm doing an offset of 0.1. So that's just accentuating the highs, which you need with a with a Heil microphone. A typical Heil microphone is uh, is going to uh, be, have a lot of low end. So there you have it. Yeah, not a scratch on her. I'm taking really good care of the radio. It has a cover that goes on it when it's not being used. And uh, here it is, getting to be the uh, the backup and doing a, doing a fine job. Just worked. Uh, uh, Italy, Puerto Rico, Canada, and St. Pierre. All right, 73 from N4, HNH.